Hey, what's going on everyone? It's B. Avery here for another trailer reaction. This one is for Star Wars Solo, a Star Wars story. It is the official teaser. Now, this is not the 30 second Super Bowl spot that they played during the Super Bowl. This is, uh, was it one minute and 43 seconds? Uh, when I was watching the Super Bowl, I did see the Super Bowl spot, but I didn't, I wasn't able really to pay attention to it because I was at a Super Bowl party and, uh, you know, so I could really only look at it. I really didn't hear any dialogue and all that good stuff, but I haven't seen anything from this at all. And I'm just saying this because I don't like to fake reactions and pretend like I haven't seen anything before. So I haven't seen this. But I seen the 30 second Super Bowl spot, but I couldn't really hear anything because it was crowded where I am. Um, anyway, I'll go ahead and play this. I'll talk about what I was about to say in just a second after it plays. But let me go ahead and put on these headphones and you guys can stop listening to me talk and watch me watch this trailer. Three, two, one, go. I've been running scams on the street since I was 10. <laughs> I was kicked out of the flight academy for having a mind of my own. I'm gonna be a pilot. Best in the galaxy. Hey, kid. I'm putting together a crew. You in? That's yes. I might be the only person. Who knows? What you really are. What's that? Get ready. <laughs> Thought we were in trouble there for a second, but it's fine. We're fine. Memorial Day. See you in there, Donald Glover. Donald Glover. So that right there looked like a lot of fun. And let me go ahead and press pause on this real quick because I don't want that to play anymore. Um, yeah, that looks like a lot of fun. And the reason why I'm saying that like it looks like a lot of fun is because I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I have not really been looking forward to this movie. Um, you know, I don't, I'm just being honest with you guys. Uh, eight, what's his name? Um, Alden Aldright. I cannot ever say his name. Aaron Wright. Alden Aaron Wright. But um, as far as the new Star Wars movies are concerned, out of Rogue One, uh, The Last Jedi, which just came out, and The Force Awakens, for me, I, Rogue One is my absolute favorite. And then, man, I actually never thought about this. Which one I like more about The Force Awakens or The Last Jedi? I don't know. I think I want to say maybe The Force Awakens and then The Last Jedi. I saw The Force Awakens three times in theaters. I only saw The Last Jedi once. Um, while I did enjoy The Last Jedi, I was very disappointed with a lot of things. If you want to know why I was disappointed, go and look at my review for the films. I, I don't want to talk about that too much. But as we all know, um, this Han Solo movie has been through a lot. Um, it's been changing directors, but now we have Ron Howard, you know, through all the film um, outlets and things like that. People have just been like, man, when are we getting a trailer? It's supposed to come out Memorial Day in May, end of May. Uh, and, you know, 23rd, you know, we haven't got a trailer yet. This doesn't make any sense. They were showing trailers for The Force Awakens and this movie like a year prior. And where's the trailer? What's going on? Is it going to be moved to December? And, you know, I don't know. Maybe the movie is going to be bad. Um, I hope not. Um, maybe it's going to be good. But I really haven't cared about this movie up until now. Uh, the trailer looked freaking, freaking fantastic. It looks great. Um, I, I do want to see a, a young solo now. Um, I am really looking forward to seeing Lando played by Donald Glover. We got uh, Woody Helson. I didn't even know he was in this movie um, because I just really haven't followed the news because I just haven't I haven't cared. We got Paul Bettany in this. Of course, I like him from uh, all his other movies and Vision and the uh, and Marvel right now. But what I, I don't understand is like, I mean, this is just me, but. Okay, so summer movie season used to be in May, but in recent years, that's really kind of 
been pointless in a way, showing that you can put bl- big blockbuster movies in any point of the year and they'll still do fine. Maybe not jan- not uh, January, but you know you have uh, Black Panther coming out in a couple of weeks. Yay! February, and then Disney has another film, uh, The Wrinkle of Time, coming out uh, in March. We had the X, the uh, the New Mutants coming out in April, but that got pushed to next year. And then uh, May, we had uh, Avengers: Infinity War. And then uh, June, we had Deadpool, but they moved it up. And then next year, July, we had Ant Man and the Wasp. You had like a big movie once, you know, one per month. So I just don't understand why Disney will want to put two of their biggest films in the same month. You know, I just don't understand that. I'm not an executive. I don't, you know, I'm not the CEO. I'm not the CFO. Excuse me. I would think you would want to spread that out. I mean, you can, Disney could have Infinity War in May and Man and a Wasp in July. Why not put Solo in August or September? You have zero competition, you know, but that's just me. You know, I I, I mean, I, I don't know, but, um, yeah, the trailer looks great. We're going to see. Um, I am now looking forward to the film. I I, I couldn't care any less uh, before I press play, but now I am quite interested. But guys, what did you think of the trailer? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did it turn you on? Did it turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. Did I say that's just my opinion? I, I think I didn't say that. Um, also, guys, uh, yeah, uh, I, I done tripped up my words now. Um, yeah, subscribe to my channel. Um, even if you know, I would really appreciate it. You can click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. Um, if you don't agree with me, let me know in the comment section below why. Go to my website, check me out there. Bookmark it. Also, look me up on social media Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But, guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion, slash review, slash reaction. For a solo, a Star Wars story. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.